any amount of fast charging will cause permanent damage to your battery. Most of those people probably didn't have a charger at home. So they were constantly going to supercharge. So the, the batteries have degraded uh, something like 6%. Hi, this is David with EV World News. We're talking about electric vehicles, green energy, and the stock markets. I'm in studio today with our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going, good. Bill? Good. Well, no, it's afternoon. A good afternoon to you, sir. Yeah, so uh, we're starting a little later today than normal. I wanted to talk about a little article from Recurrent. Recurrent is a company that, and most people don't know this, if you are looking at buying a used EV, they they test the batteries. And I, I don't know how you go through this process. I've never really looked at the process of it, but it'll tell you how solid the battery is. But they did a study revealing the impact of fast charging on EV batteries. Now, this is a concern because one of the issues that came up with Hertz. Hertz rented out all of these Teslas and they were driven for Uber and they were driven a lot. If somebody's going to spend the money, they're probably driving Uber like 70 hours a week to you know make up for doing that. So that was a lot of miles that were getting put on those cars on a weekly basis. I mean, people were putting a thousand to 2000 miles a week on those rental cars. And most of those people probably didn't have a charger at home. So they were constantly going to supercharger. So there's been some talk about how this worked. Here's a graph of people who use frequent fast charge use versus rare fast charge use. This was all on Tesla Model 3, 6,300 vehicles. There was almost no statistical difference between the two is what the study came out. But here we go again. Here they did it on 4,400 Model Ys. There was the, the people in, in this case that frequently fast charged had a little bit better battery life after three years. Now, isn't that interesting? Yeah, built that up. So what we're seeing there is somewhere degradation, basically somewhere between 85 and 90%. The batteries are still good. In other words, there's only been, you know, between, uh, what do you got, 98, 96. So this is 2000 days. This is six years out. So so the, the batteries have degraded uh, something like 6%. With, with rapid charging, that that's 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 encouraging, really. These tests were only done on Teslas, okay? So Tesla may have superior battery tech. They tend to be ahead of the curve on just about everything, you know, in the EV space. Yeah, just just listen to Sandy Monroe. Is that what he says? Oh yeah, he he's a big fan. He says they're so the Tesla. Every time he takes one apart, he's just amazed by how far ahead they are technologically. Well, and, and that's part of, you know, why there's so many people like it. But anyways, when is fast charging more likely to cause damage? So here's what it's saying. Avoid fast charging in extreme heat without preconditioning your battery. Now, this is something, if you're pulling up to a charger in a Tesla and, you know, you're on a road trip, it ought, and when you're like about 20 to 30 minutes out, it, it'll pop up a message that says the battery is now preconditioning. You know, it automatically starts doing because it knows you're going to pull off the interstate and head to that charger because you won't make it to your destination. Tesla has kind of an interesting formula there. Their AI formulates as like, this is the fastest you could charge here, get to the next charger, charge really quickly there and make it home. Instead of trying to completely top off at the first one and then only getting a little bit at the next one, it's figured out these calculations to make it quicker. And a lot of times those stops really aren't that long. It's a lot shorter than people expect. So preconditioning pre-cools the battery so it can accept a higher charge rate without overheating. Typically, if you set your car's navigation to a fast charging station, the battery will be preconditioned. Well, I, I, I can't speak for other brands of cars, but uh, precondition the battery before charging in extreme cold. Often driving a bit before fast charging is enough to warm up the battery or get to the fast charger using your car's navigation. Avoid fast charging your EV at very low states or very high states of charge since battery resistance will be higher. Fiction. Routinely fast charging your car from 0 to 100% is fine. Almost all EVs have software to keep it from fast charging above 80%. It's better to switch to a level 2 charger for the last 20%. There, there are exceptions. There are exceptions if the software senses that your next destination simply won't reach it without more 
but uh, but it's unusual to see that. The kilowatt radio of fast charger controls how fast an EV can charge at. I think this is more for the separate models and batteries. Charge speed is also dependent on temperature, state of charge, and even battery age. Any amount of fast charging will cause permanent damage to your battery. Still difficult to quantify, but it's fine in small doses. But the study said it really didn't seem to matter. Fast charging in the cold will cause lithium plating. Now, I've never heard about this. EV batteries have a lot of software and hardware to protect them and ensure they're the right temperature before accepting high voltage to avoid lithium plating, which I'm not familiar with that. But I, I thought this was a good article. Yeah, that, that's that's encouraging. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.